In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to do the pelvic rotation blocking. Now, the purpose of this exercise, um, or the, the reason I would prescribe this exercise, is for someone who has a torquing or rotation of the pelvis. So using these wedges and these blocks and lying on them in certain positions is going to help to take the torquing or rotation out of the pelvis. And that's going to help with the structure of the pelvis itself, which can help with uh, sacroiliac issues, hip issues, knee issues, but is also going to help with the structure of the spine as well, because the spine sits on top of the pelvis. So if you affect the pelvis, you in turn will affect the spine as well. So uh, an individual who has these exercise, or this exercise are going to use these wedges in one of two different ways. Either your exercise is right high, left low, or your placement is left high, right low. So I'm going to show where you would put these wedges for those purposes. So if it is right high, left low, you're going to place the one of the wedges high under the pelvis at the very top of the pelvis. So you're gonna be placing it up high just like this, and the left low is going to go under the buttock just like that. And the two thin parts are going to be pointing towards each other. So right high, left low. And if it's left high, right low, it's simply going to be switched to that. You're gonna lie on these wedges for about 10 minutes per day, um, up to 20 minutes per day, starting slow. Start with one to two minutes, and then as you feel comfortable doing the exercise, uh, add a little bit of time on until you get to that 10 to 20 minutes per day mark. That is how to do the uh, pelvic rotation blocking. If you have any questions, please let me know.